good day, everyone. I want to welcome all of you to Passion Pause. It's a, a weekly reflection upon the Sunday scriptures uh, in order to not only help you understand the Word of God, but also maybe to be of help of someone else. Uh, as you know, uh, the ministry that I embrace primarily is a people who no longer uh, walk the uh, path of Catholic faith. They've walked away and uh, I find them everywhere I go. Neighborhoods, uh, public schools, public housing, uh, they are present. And oftentimes the, the phrase is, well, Father, I used to be a Catholic. And uh, I always uh, respond to that by saying, you used to be, but guess what? The roots of your baptism, that is the roots of Christ's life are still in you. They're just, they're just deep inside of you. So that's the way I approach those who have walked away. Uh, this weekend, um, we have uh, the prophet Amos being very strong against people who have become complacent. People who become complacent. And part of that complacency is uh, how I approach the Word of God. Um, do you approach the Word of God beyond the Sunday readings? Do you approach the Word of God as well, I'm sure many of you have been in a situation where you were coming up to a test and you had to study very difficult, very much difficult, very difficultly for a, a test. And it's a challenge. And you memorize and you, you pour over it. D do I have the same intensity around the Word of God? In other words, the Word of God is a light for our life and for our path. And the Word of God this weekend uh, goes into what I call the gap, the gap between what I know and what I don't know, the gap between who I know and who I don't know, the gap between the poor and the rich, the gap between the black and the white or the Hispanic. These are the gaps that you and I share. And uh, in the gospel, we have uh, a man named Dives which means a rich person, uh, in his driveway, there's a man named Lazarus. And apparently Lazarus gets close enough to Divey's home that he's able to eat scraps that fall from his dining room table. Must have been an open air living room. And that's how Divey's lives. And it, it's pointed out that Divey's has these open sores that are licked by the neighborhood dogs. That's the extent to, to which Lazarus has, has gone. That's the depths. And there's a tremendous gap between Dives' life and Lazarus. In fact, Dives doesn't even recognize the presence of Lazarus. And I was thinking of what I call the sores, the sores of Lazarus, getting in touch with uh, the sore of unemployment the sore of a dysfunctional marriage where communication is nil, the sore of be, not being able to accept my disabilities or my age that I've changed, the sore of a disease that could bring me to the end of my life, the sore of a need for mental help. I, I need mental help and people are kind of like shying away from me. The sore of the poor being very abstract. They live along the freeway, but I never see them. I kind of rush by. The, these are the biblical sores of our age. And there is a bridge. There's a bridge that you and I can actually create between those whom we do not know and those whom we want to get to know. The bridge can be uh, generosity, first of all. Generosity beyond what I'm capable of. What's that mean? Well, faith, as I've said many times here, faith is the ability to go beyond where I think I can go. That's faith. Faith is that dimension that takes us beyond where we thought we could go. Advocacy, uh, situations in the world, situations around our environment, situations around the, the conditions uh, in our neighborhoods, we can advocate, not just vote, but advocate, lift up our voice. There is the bridge of outreach where I deliberately, deliberately go 
where I wouldn't ordinarily go to visit, to observe, just to be present. There is the call that's in my heart that is there. I can either take advantage of it or I can't. There are the divides that we're aware of racially. Let's face it, they're here. And I can bridge that gap by just carrying on a conversation with someone who does not look like me. It may be momentary, but it's a conversation. I've just built a bridge. And then, of course, there is a major gap between those who have everything and those who have nothing. We, we can respond to these in our own way. And, and God gives us the capability. In the, the, the second reading uh, this morning, or this Sunday, from uh, St. Paul to Timothy, Timothy assumes that eternal power is actually in us. Eternal power to him, Christ, be honor and eternal power. So as Christ shares with us that power, take advantage of the next gap that you see in your life and what is it that you can do to build a bridge from your side of that bridge. Amen? I pray for you and I'll pray for your mission. Go in peace.